So I, I did a two part blog series. Sometimes I do that. And at the beginning of the month, I wrote a blog about getting a bird's eye view of your coaching career, of you as a coach, of you as in your career, whatever it is, kind of taking a look at, oh, here's been the span of time that I've been doing this and seeing what the highlights are. Today's blog, I pull out some of the highlights for me, right? There were things like I, I've had several radio shows that were so much fun. I had one with two really good friends of mine. The three of us got together every week and put on a show. It was so much fun. I don't want to forget that. I want to remember how much fun I can have doing something that's, you know, marketing, but also just for pure joy of talking about what I care about, what matters to me. I, I'm a, an ordained interfaith minister. I went to seminary for two years. That was a joy for me as well. I've written two books. You know, one of them is right behind me here, Evolve Your Coaching Business. I'm going to be starting a podcast in September. Okay. I'm so excited about that. And what I see, and this is what I'm hoping for you to see for yourself, is that when you take a look at your journey, it's so much more interesting than just what, what did you achieve? Like, or what are you looking to achieve now? Or just like that one point in time where something happened, where you look at the journey, right? So there's that Maya Angelo. It's actually a book. I wouldn't take nothing for my journey now because there are a lot of challenges that I've had. I was just talking to one of my really good friends who I've known since I was 17. And I was talking about the year that I was 17. And I had so many challenges that year. I mean, when I, when I, thought about it and told her the story. It was like, wow, how did I, how did, how did I even make it through that year? But what I got when I looked at that journey was if I hadn't, those experiences helped me to grow in a way that's now I've been able to help other people for 22 years as a coach, because I faced challenges. I made it through. I learned things. I learned I, through my mistakes, through stupid things that I did, through very smart things that I did. <laughs> kind of, you know, when you look at the journey, all that judgment about what's right or wrong or smart or stupid kind of falls away when you, you see that, you know, kind of what you actually have experienced, because that's where we get our joy. It's in the experience of our life. Achievements, yes, but also mundane things or things other people might not applaud us for. But when you look at your journey, you can see what it is that delights your soul. And that's what I want for you.